It was in the late 80s, while attending the Berklee College of Music as a student in Boston, Massachusetts, that I had a amazing experience. I was coming from downstairs from the percussion department basement of the 1140 building, and I hear this incredible display of technique. I uh, approach the room, and as I look through the door, I see the master, Jim Shaping, presenting a Molder Technique masterclass. The sounds that I was hearing, and it was incredible. I never saw anybody display such a amazing chops of hand technique and molar technique. I decided to take a seat and listen to what this man had to say. I was well aware who Jim Chape was. He was a very famous teacher. I was already studying from his legendary jazz coordination book entitled Advanced Techniques for the Morning Drummer. And uh, so after the master class, I approached him and we exchanged phone numbers. And that was the beginning of a great relationship that lasts until his passing. I believe he passed in uh, 2009. Although uh, Jim Shaping was a master jazz coordination teacher, the bulk of our studies was hand technique, specifically the molar technique. Now, Jim Shaping was a student of Sanford Moeller who popularized the technique. So it's an honor for me to say to you that I'm part of that legacy because Jim Shaping studied directly with Sanford Moeller and I studied for many years with Jim Shape and the Molo Technique. So I'm really close to the source, and this is just an incredible opportunity to have uh, Jim Shape share with me some insights into this technique and allowed me to understand what the greatest players are doing and give me the opportunity to use the technique myself. So this is where this information is coming from. When I was studying with uh, Jim Shaping, we really focused on the movements of the Molo technique, specifically movements that involves four strokes, which I now call M4 for Molo four strokes, the Molo three, which is three strokes, and the Molo two, which is two strokes. So the course starts with an in-depth studies of the molar movement, the molar motions on the right hand and the left hand, with molar four, molar three, and molar two. Once the students are familiarized with the movement, we go into technical exercises to create endurance and provide some repetition of the movement. So we do uh, routines with the molar four, molar three, and molar two, and then we spend a few weeks doing that. Then. Uh, the course presents the students uh, with two things, the matrix one and matrix two. What are those things? Well, when you play the molar movements in triple few or duple few, you create cer certain accents. Those accents is gonna be the creation of a molar vocabulary in duple few and triple few. So you're gonna end up with 14 different types of roles. Uh, uh, seven in duple few and seven in triple few. Molar four, uh, M4, MP4, M3, MP3, alternating trees, molar two and molar P2. The P is for pickup notes. So you have a set of 
seven rows in duple few, seven rows in, in triple few. And then after that, we have some snare drum etudes created with this vocabulary. So you're gonna get into music, playing melodic ideas, musical phrases, using the Molo technique. Then we're going to drum set etudes, which is the application of molar technique on the hi-hat, on the right cymbal, on the snare drum, and the full kit to create grooves, fills, and solos. And then we're going to improvisation. So this course goes beyond the molar technique and goes really into the musical application of the techniques to play in different styles, jazz, Brazilian, Afro-Cuban, rock, funk, shuffles, ways to develop a higher degree of ghosted notes with the molar movement, you know, playing things, let's say when you play a shuffle, instead of just playing one note, you have that primarily backbeat followed by, you know, bounces of ghosted notes. So it's a great course. So uh, it goes into really uh, a musical approach to the technique as opposed to just speed and power and that will allow you to play with more flow, smoothness, more comfortable with up tempos. It really helps your musicality. As a professor at the Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts, I had the incredible opportunity to also design courses for the department. One of the most popular courses on the percussion department is this course that I design in, taught for the past 12 years, the Molar Technique course. The popularity was so incredible that we offer at least two sections of this course per semester. If you make the math, if you count fall, spring and summer semesters, so that's so far 36 semesters. If you have about eight to 10 students in two sections, that's a lot of people that went through this program. So I know it works. If you're interested, and take you playing to a whole other level. I know a lot of people focus on some aspects of the molar technique, like the fast rows and playing with speed and power, but there is stuff way beyond that. If you look the way uh, Dave Wacko is approaching this technique to better playing grooves on the hi-hat and the right cymbal, the left hand facilitating lighter playing, you know, when you play a shuffle, for instance, instead of just playing one main backbeat, you have the backbeat and ghost notes, even two notes, or even what I call triple ghosting. And play more relaxed without tension, with fluidity, this is the course for you. I've been teaching this for a long time and I have witnessed the transformation of players who are really tense to all of a sudden open up to be more relaxed, to play more musical and, uh, you know, play faster tempos, at ease and without tension. This is a great course for that. So if you want to take this course, I guarantee you that it's going to transform your plane and your plane is going to get closer and closer to the masters, to the legends. So let's go.